Yeah, a little bit of height and reach, height and reach advantage for Benuta. Look, he's switching now, right on cue to uh, Southport. And the two of them get tangled up. Southport and Orthodox feet getting tangled, but away they go. No knockdown, of course. And Baluta has started on the front foot as well. It's got all the early indications this is that it's going to be a very good one to watch. Baluta's got to make sure that jab of his is sharp and crisp. He can't afford for a slow punch. The two of them are really going for it here in the second. case of Baluta just missing with his jab isn't it and again Foster coming low he's got fast jab he's literally looking for a reaction off Baluta wants him to throw a shot cat and mouse at the moment just trying to draw the lead from the opponent here Foster and there's that left hook and again that's the shot we spoke about doubling up beautifully to try and settle into a rhythm. He did get in with a decent left to the body there. Yeah. They're not really been able to settle into any sort of real rhythm in this fight. No one gets scrappy there, does he? But he just neglected his jab here, John, as Foster, in this round. to try to plant his feet, trying to just measure him. Foster evading him well. Two of them landing simultaneously there. Yeah. Really been one single big pivotal moment in this fight so far. Still very much in the balance. It's scrappy and they've, they've, they've sort of cancelled each other out on the inside. Not a lot of work happening there. And that's where, see, that's the shot. That's what he's got to concentrate on for me. Those rolls, and coming out of the roll then with that left hook. Left hand from Foster was a scoring one. Richie at this point with Brad Foster narrowly ahead, but it is narrowly. Foster's got to concentrate, got to try and draw that lead and then punch off it. Fast counters, the right hand over the top, little left hook on the inside. Not a big punch for Baluta. 14 wins, only three inside the distance, but he's starting to find the targets a wee bit more consistently here. Nice shot there from Foster. It's better from Foster. Yeah, just double that jab. And then the right cross, and another one. Baluta on the front foot there, possibly getting the better of that exchange. Gets in with the left and an uppercut, though. Baluta's coming forward. What pressure boxing again from Baluta, and he catches Foster there. Foster in close, but Baluta trying to show that he's still the aggressor. It is desperately close. Yeah, constantly coming forward. Actually, took a couple of good shots as well. But as he's coming forward, the momentum seems to be with him. That was a lovely shot from Foster as he came off those ropes. There's the shot there. He's on thin ice with these warnings from the referee, though, and the loss of a point could be so significant yeah. if it happened. These rounds are close. That was lovely boxing at raised there from Foster. Lovely right hand, and there's that jab again. Both swinging away there. Oh, that was a good shot on the inside there from 
Brad Foster. Super puncher looking. You, you can clearly see how he's gone back now. And Baluta for a split second there was a right hand to the body there. That was a cracking shot. That hurt Baluta. And he just momentarily went back. Look, he's just slowed him down a little bit, that has. Oh, that was a cracking shot again from Foster. Good left hand from Baluta. Well, that was Baluta who landed with a right to the head and trying to just outwork Foster here. I think he realises that there's some sort of problem. Oh, he's just going for the win here, Baluta. Yep, he is fighting as though he senses that Foster has a real problem in there and there's nothing at all coming from that right side from Brad Foster. Just moving to save four now, trying to get more leverage on that left hand of his. There it is there, look, as he's a safe ball, but just keeps switching stances, does Brad Foster. Obviously, the left hand's OK, and it'll be the left hook that can do the damage, but if he turns safe ball, then it'll be a straight left hand that he'll try and land. Well, he's having a bit more success since he's done that, but it's a gamble, and we're into now the last 30 seconds. Oh, he lands a good right hand. And Baluta finishing the fight on top. And may well have done enough to win it. Both of them celebrate. Now, is this where the hand went? That, we reckon, is the last time that he threw that right hand. Yeah, it was a lovely shot, actually, just on the side of the chin of Baluta, but... That's where we think that the damage... After may have ten gone. rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards. Victor Lockling scores the contest 98-94. Francisco Rosa scores the contest 97-93. And Kieran McCann scores the contest 97-93 for your winner by unanimous decision. And he is the new WBC International Super Bantamweight Champion. Your Newt El Capo!